if you have a five person sales force, let's say you can't just say, okay, we're going to, we're going to double it up to 10 and therefore double our sales and double our profits. It's not going to happen. First of all, you have to have the demand for those five extra sales people to have people to talk to, have customers to service, whatever it is. And so scaling, I think it has to be strategic. The reason for scaling is to have more potential business coming in. So more leads or more phone calls, then you figure out ways to do that. But then you still have this conversion component of the funnel, I guess you'd call it, where you're getting all these leads in, but it doesn't make any sense if you're not answering the phone, if you're not servicing the client, if you're in a home services type business, if you don't have the crews to service the, the business that you already have coming into. I have a, this perfect story. I've pro- I have worked work, work with a home services company. I've been with them for about six years now. And I think probably 5 x their business in the time we've worked with them. And we abs- abs- can, can absolutely flood them with phone calls, but they have a hard time keeping their crews on the road. It's a no- notoriously, the business is aging out. There aren't new people coming into it, which is the case with a lot of these trades businesses. So we need to find for them more of the more valuable calls to come in rather than the typical inspection, which might be a couple hundred dollars. We want to, we want to find the replacement. We want to find the rebuild, which is $10,000 maybe or 20. So we can do that too. We can scale the, not just the number of clients, but we can scale the kind of clients that you want.